Hello viewers, welcome to another program, a program that is going to look at a revision that can be done in oral skills, that is paper one, English, and in this case here we have an oral poem um, in which we expect to answer two areas at the end of it. So the poem is, the sun spun like a toast coin, it whirled on the azure sky, it clattered into the horizon, it clicked in the slot, and neon light popped and blinked, time expired as on a parking meter. So as an oral poem that is testing on performance, there are two areas which this question wants us to address, and uh, one case is the onomatopoeic words. So you cannot really answer this onomatopoeic words they, what they are, not unless you've gone through the poem and you know what onomatopoeic sounds are. So maybe to give it a small definition, we can say that onomatopoeic words are words that describe sounds made by objects, persons, or things. For example, you talk about a snake hissing, the hyena howling, the lion roaring. Those are onomatopoeic words. And in the similar vein, we could go to this poem so that we get to identify the onomatopoeic words. For instance, we're talking about world in the sky. World is an example of an onomatopoeic word. Again, we have popped. Yes, we could as well talk about clicked. These are onomatopoeic words and maybe on the flip side of this, onomatopoeia as another word which is the counterpart of the same, that is idiophone. And when you're talking about idiophone, they also are descriptive sounds, but with their case, we cannot find them in a dictionary, like in the case of the words that we have in this poem here, that wild, popped, clicked, you can get them in the dictionary. Whereas, when we are talking about idiophones, we'll never get them in the dictionary. I could have a, give an example of a sound like trrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
slot. This one also needs a lot of careful attention. You notice that they are very different. This one is ending in da, this one is ending in, so ending in letter D, this one is ending in letter T, but all of them are pronounced as ta. So popped slot is giving us that. So we have rhyme as one of the sound devices that we have in this particular poem. And then we have it, int, horizon. So it and int, the e, e, is giving us what we call assonance. That is when you have successive realization of the vowel sounds in a line of a poem. So you'll be talking about it clicked. It clicked in. So the e e e is there is giving us assonance. And then let's see whether we can have any other around here again. Uh, they're talking about sound devices. So so far we've got rhyme, we've got assonance, and let's just look around and get to see what else we are having here in terms of the sound devices. In fact, we still have something else for assonance where we have sun and span. All of them are having the a ah, a, ah, and therefore that is the sound device that we can have. So viewers, uh, just take a minute to kindly make a subscription to this program so that at least we're able to have our family grow in the understanding and preparation for exams and any other revisions that are becoming. So I'm kindly requesting you to subscribe or give it a thumbs up and even make a comment there so that if you have any other issue that you may be wanting us to respond to, we get to do that. Thank you. So um, we, the two questions that we got here is what is likely uh, knowledge that we need to have in preparation for the exam. And still, I could go back to this. These two lines, slot popped. They are sharing a common sound, yet the letters are different. So for us to reach there, we must be ensuring that we are making pronunciation at each and every point of the analysis of a poem so that we get to pronounce them, get the last sounds before we decide on that. Otherwise, we hope to meet in the next program. Thank you.